Hey guys, how's it going? This is Chappie here at Intense, and for today's edition of Tech Tutorials, we are gonna go over some error codes that you might experience on the trail. Most situations are able to be remedied on the trail um, or during startup, so you know, let's take a look and uh, go through each one. On the back side of our taser battery door, we have a little cheat sheet that has the most common error codes you might experience. So let's pop this off and we'll take a look. So as you see here, we have our code on the far left. We have the displayed conditions, what restrictions those imply, and then ways to go about fixing them. One of the conditions that we see is a W010. This is typically always related to an overheating issue. Not common, but it is one of the few error codes that you may see throughout the life um, of your Taser MX. Um, we'll move down to W011. The displayed condition is cannot detect travel of speed. What that usually means is two things. Either the speed sensor pickup there is damaged or the speed sensor magnet has either fallen off or maybe just moved slightly out of adjustment. If it's an adjustment issue with the magnet, we can go ahead and reposition that magnet to the recommended location and turn the system off, fire it back up. Everything should be all good to go from that point. We'll move on to a W013. So if we say, for instance, we start the bike up, we turn the bike on, we have our feet on the pedals. What's happening there is the torque sensors are trying to zero themselves out, but with our feet or weight on the pedals, it, they're not able to do that accurately. So we just turn the system off. We will take our weight off the pedals and start the system back up. That error code should alleviate itself and we'll be good to go. And then finally, an issue if potentially you're upgrading your Taser MX Pro or Expert to let's say a DI2 electronic shift system, one of the things we need to take into account is that that system can be set up to interact seamlessly with the Shimano EP800 or E7000 series on the Expert. Um, that all needs to be done through the app or your local Shimano or Intense dealer. Let's say you're riding extremely rough terrain and all of a sudden your Taser MX cuts out. No need to worry, typically what that is a result of is actually the battery mount being slightly out of adjustment or loose. So, what that would require would be removing the battery door, removing the battery, adjusting the battery mounts, putting that battery back in, and then continuing on with a good time. If you have any further questions, you can always refer back to a little bit more detailed description of some troubleshooting points in the user manual for your Taser MX. Or if it's beyond that, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're always there to help. Um, we can help guide you through the process to, to remedy whatever the situation might be and get you back out on the trail and having a good time. Thanks for choosing Intense.